Hello, it is future Olivia um, coming at you before you see any days of recovery from my surgery. It's actually day eight for me right now, so I'm looking a lot more alive than I will the first few days. Um, so just be prepared for that. <laughs> There's a couple things I want to say. The first thing is that I kind of want to preface why I make these videos. Um, it is not for anyone to feel bad for me. It is not so that I can um, receive pity or any type of external validation. It was 100% for the fact that it is hard to find these videos. It is hard for, like me at 21, I've looked everywhere to see um, how procedures go for other people, how birth control was for those with endometriosis, how they go on day to day living with endometriosis, how flare-ups are for other people. Just, it's hard to find that information. And so I want to be a, a little spot on YouTube that people can go to get that information um, and to just not feel so alone. I just, I, I do it because I care <laughs> and because I, I want people to know that they're not alone going through it. Another thing I want to say is that I did not start recording until, I want to say day three. <clears throat> I think it was day three. It was either day two or day three. Day one was awful um, for me. It was just, uh, there was no way I was going to be able to pick up a camera and talk to you guys because I was not really talking at all anyways. Um, that's not to scare anybody either. It was awful for me because of, I had a sinus infection and then I had anesthesia and so I was just a big blob of anxiety and illness um yeah so anyways i think we're starting around day three so i just want to preface that because i'm gonna look probably better than expected still not great but better than expected so anyways yes i hope you guys enjoy the video if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not and comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me or any questions that you have yes i'm so excited for you guys to see this video i hope you enjoy it and yeah let's get into it good morning um hold on our mattress is really loud i need to put my gloss on um you guys did not see or hear from me before surgery because i ended up getting a sinus infection which you can still kind of hear and i was really nervous that they weren't going to clear me for surgery um but they ended up doing so and then i didn't film the first couple days because i was on a oh the light's changing i was on a major major struggle bus i was not feeling great for some reason i just didn't respond well to the anesthesia um way worse than last time and yeah the gas pain from them pumping your abdomen full of gas is just still put a lot of pressure on my lungs um on my shoulder and made it kind of rough so I'm only alternating between ibuprofen and Tylenol every three hours and then every six hours I'm taking um cimethicone which is like gas x um so that's all that I'm on right now which is actually been enough they do send you home a stronger pain medication but I try to stay away from it um, and I've been successful. Yeah. I'll show you my belly. Be prepared. This one's gnarly. So last time I only had two incisions. Um, and this time I have like six, I think. Hold on. So you might want to skip this part if you're kind of queasy. Um... So yeah, that's my current situation. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then I've got little spots where, because this was robotic, so they put a little like instruments in. I think I have one in my belly button too. Not really sure. So this is just what it looks like. Okay, I moved in front of the window so you can hopefully see it a little better. Um. 
So, there is all of those. And like I said, there's little spots where they had another instrument. All of my stuff is just glued. They just glued everything for me, um, which wasn't really a problem last time. I had one spot get infected. I don't... I'm not having the same issues. Like, this whole process has been a lot different than my last time. Um, so I don't know. And I, I'll do a video that kind of goes further into detail with that. I just didn't even want to film until I could really talk. And, um, I'm finally nearing that stage where I'm still recovering and talking is still exhausting for me. But, um, definitely, definitely just improving. So, I'm currently eating a bagel and drinking a cup full of Marilax. Yay, surgery. Um, I sound out of breath and it's because Jerry, before he left for work today, forgot to leave the, or forgot to take care of the dogs because normally that's what I do in the mornings. So I just had to let all of them out and feed them. I mean, my body was not ready for that. So. Yesterday, I did try to take a shower, and we ended up going out to lunch with Jerry's Grammy and siblings, and uh, <clears throat> we also went to my sister's hockey game. I definitely overdid it. So overall, I'm just very tired, and my uh, incisions are also, one of them is bruising pretty bad, which I don't remember a ton. Sorry if I sound spacey too. It's just comes with the territory. There. Okay. <clears throat> There's the incision that's bruising. But, I mean none of them feel good. That one was bugging me a lot more when I woke up from surgery um, and the first couple days after. So I don't know if that's just like the main one that they're moving instruments around in or what but she's hurting. Um, today I'm also, I have a birth control patch. I'm going to stop that, take it off. Um, I did not pick up my new one, so I think I'm just going to let my body detox a little bit from birth control and then kind of see how my body's doing, get back on it if need be, because right now that's my pain management, so we will see. But I am just exhausted from talking to you guys right now and from letting the dogs out so i'm gonna finish eating my breakfast and watch a show so yeah i will talk to you guys later hopefully keep you updated a little bit more today than i did yesterday so yes hello everyone um recovery vlogs are first off you're gonna hear the dogs i'm sorry recovery vlogs are i'm um, extremely hard to do because you're recovering. I have been exhausted all day and I didn't take any um, gas X and that has posed a major issue for me later on tonight. I just have so much pressure on my chest um, and I've had a lot of pain. I also ate and had me relax today and have not gone to the bathroom. So yeah basically all today has consisted of is watching YouTube. I'm sorry about the dogs. I watch a lot of Carter Sullivan, Sarah Elizabeth. I watched quite a few Try Guys videos just because they're funny um, and they're longer so they last me a little while. The, pi the time passes faster. Um, yeah. Oh, and Lauren Doan. Well, welcome. Now, so, just been watching their videos, um, sitting on Pinterest, basically, and I finally was able to tidy up a teeny tiny bit. I can show you. So, now it's just my meds, um, and then a loose shirt, slippers, stuff like that. Still feeling pretty bloated and just today has been because I can't sleep on my side comfortably yet or 
um, on my stomach, which are the two main ways that I sleep, I've just been waking up really sore um, in my neck and my back. So it's definitely been pretty rough. Um, my test results came back. So with this surgery, they did a lot of biopsies. I think they did like four different ones. One testing for endo and then I don't know what the other ones are. I won't know until my appointment. My follow-up, um, they did come back. I did already have a big cry about them. Um, so one of the biopsies did come back for endometriosis. So with this surgery, um, they did the official biopsies, not the test for pelvic congestion syndrome or PCOS. I don't know what's going on with that right now. Um, but anyways, so they did a biopsy and that came back. So this procedure was supposed to officially diagnose me with endometriosis with the correct biopsies taken and tests done and all of that. Um, and it did come back positive. So I don't know what other areas they found it in. And then there were a couple other things that kind of, that came back that we had never even discussed. Um, so I don't know. I'm just not gonna rely on the tests and just wait for my doctor. Um, but she did send a message telling me at least that the endo came back positive and that she'd go into further detail on everything at my um, follow-up appointment. So I guess it's just really defeating in the sense that when you have a chronic illness um, that causes chronic pain, you feel, or I feel as though my body is failing me in a sense, um, because I, I don't feel like at 21 years old I should be dealing with sciatic pain or um, constant cramping or pain when I'm like sharp shooting pains when I'm sneezing or um, having a quick movement of getting up just just not not normal things things that people shouldn't deal with anyways but especially especially at my age um and they they did note on there too severe pelvic floor dysfunction which is not surprising at all yesterday i went with no pain meds today so far i've been able to go no pain meds and been fine still i would benefit from the gas x i took it yesterday um just because my lungs still, there's just pressure at the bottom of them. And part of it, I think, was the sinus infection. But it's definitely still from the gas that my body has just not broken down. I'm not really having any shoulder pain, um, which is good. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I've been able to move around a little bit more today. Like, today when I let the dogs out, it was a lot more successful. Um... I was able to lay flat on my back, besides having a pillow at my, on my head, but I um, was able to lay flat on my back this morning, which is not, last time it took me a lot longer, um, and I can give you an update of what my belly looks like. Still, that, that top incision is bruising the most, and I'm not really sure why. So, and I did find that there are little tiny incisions, which it was when I was playing back the video, so you'll probably have already seen it, but the little two tiny incisions that I have, I have, I think three or four more of those in my belly button. A little bit. You can definitely see how bruised it is. Sorry, that's probably pretty dark. Um... But yeah, so this is definitely the most coherent I've been. Um, was finally able to go to the bathroom today, which is a miracle. Um, painful, and I feel like going to the bathroom after your abdominal surgery is an experience. It's day six. Um, I was able to sleep on my side last night, which was awesome. So... I was able to sleep on my side last night. I'm having no gas pain, um, not really any incision pain or anything either, 
or like abdominal pain unless I'm trying to move around. Um, obviously anytime that I'm engaging my core I feel a little bit sore. I'm having a lot more cramping um, and heavier bleeding today which I said yesterday that I thought was going to happen. I think it's just related to me getting off of birth control. Um, so yeah, super fun. It, and I, I just don't really have the tolerance for it right now because I'm trying not to take pain medication because I was just on it for a few days consecutively and it obviously really messes with your, like it backs you up. So yeah, and because they worked in that area and there's, you know, they cut things out of that area so I don't know if that's just kind of going to make cramps feel a little bit worse um I, I don't know how many more days of this I'm going to do just because I think I'm transitioning out of surgery symptoms and transitioning more into getting off of birth control symptoms so like I said no gas pain a little soreness um when engaging my core which is understandable and um, my incisions, I, they started with burning the first couple, first day or two. Uh, I don't know. And then kind of the past couple days, they've been getting into itching, which makes sense because they're healing. Not like an infected itchy. They don't look that way. They just feel like they're healing. Um, and then right now, not feeling anything with them. So we'll see, because the glue is starting to come off and it's making me very nervous. Okay, one thing I, uh, too close. Okay, one thing I did forget to mention is that um, fatigue is crazy though right now. Like I'm, I'm also very shaky. <laughs> okay, fatigue is crazy right now. Like I am exhausted. Any little thing gets me tired. Um, so that has not gone away. In fact, I think it's getting a little bit worse. But again, I don't know what's procedure. I'm, my guess is this is also healing. Like, my body's just tired because it's healing and I'm still not sleeping great. Like, this morning I was up at 3 or 3.30 and then couldn't fall back asleep until I think like 8 o'clock and then slept for a couple more hours. So, just very out of routine. Um, it's not anything where it's completely unmanageable. Yes, I still want to stay in bed, but luckily I'm six days out from surgery and, and still have that luxury. Um, so yeah, I did want to, I did want to note that, that the fatigue is lingering and I have a feeling it's going to continue to linger for a little while. So yeah, that is now my last update. Hello. I, it's day, um, eight. I skipped yesterday because I was not ready to get off birth control, apparently. I think it's because of all of my spots that they did biopsies and excised and all of that. Because I started to notice that <clears throat> the cramps that I was feeling, they were, um, kind of sharp. Sharper than normal for me. Um, so I got a little panicked because I didn't even have any more birth control patches on me, um, like at home. Anyways, I was scared because I didn't have any on me at home and they, I was in too much pain to be able to drive anywhere, um, because the pharmacy I picked them up from is 40 minutes away. So, luckily Jerry was able to do it. I had called my doctor to kind of let her know what was happening and, it sounds like it probably was because of surgery, um, adding that cramping in that area and shedding of lining and all of that was not really the greatest combination with healing from a procedure. So, I felt really defeated, um, but I did end up putting a patch, a birth control patch on, and I'm still kind of bummed out. Um, my doctor said we could talk about it at my follow-up appointment so I don't know I'm also just bummed because hopefully my pain like cramping all of that will get better um because I've had two surgeries now and hopefully it's just that I'm like deficient in something 
but hopefully it's just something like that where I can up certain levels um, that typically affect like PMS and things like that. But I'm definitely not there yet. I just need to focus on healing. Um, so I put the birth control patch on last night, woke up this morning, already feeling a lot better. I am still getting those waves of cramps, but not as frequently. Um, and I, I just took Tylenol. So yeah if you have any questions be sure to comment them down below um and comment just any other videos you'd like to see uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not thank you so much especially if you got this far in the video that means so much to me so yeah thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys